I felt like it synced into the skin. Honey, it's my dog. She just shaked. She just shaked her body because she's shook. The fact that this worked. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Valerie Daisy if you're new to my channel. It's been a minute and I'm so excited to be filming for you guys. I'm going to be testing out the Molly Cosmetics silicone sponge, the Scylla sponge. Is basically what it's called and I'm so late to the game and I'm so sorry <laughs> I got this about a month ago um, maybe a little bit more and I still haven't used it because I've been saving my reaction for this video so I'm sorry that the dogs are crying outside they are acting a little childish but we're just gonna get into this video and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion comes in this little foil ziplock I do have to say that the shipping took a while for this it did arrive after about almost a month you have to pay an extra five dollars to be able to get a like a barcode to be able to track your package but the tracking wasn't successful like it didn't track it at all i received it and the tracking had still said that it was like wherever it was coming from so that was unreliable comes in this packaging right here in this tiny little ziplocs so, like it has a raised side and a flat side very squishy very gel insert boob cutlet thing i feel like i can put this in my shoe and it will help my heel from standing a long period of time. In the packaging, there is the sticker, there's the logo of Molly Cosmetics, Molly Cosmetics, not Mally. There is a brand called Mally Beauty, but this is Molly Cosmetics. And on the back, there's another sticker with directions. So it says, thank you for purchasing this product. To use, take a small amount of cream slash liquid product and go in circular motions or back and forth to spread until it stops spreading further. There shouldn't be any product left on the silly sponge at this point. So tap repeatedly to blend and settle, pay attention to edges, hold the side and fold to create a point for detail applications. And then it says to clean, use mouth soap to clean, rinse with lukewarm water, the material is PU. Caution, stop using once outer lining is damaged. Keep away from heat and direct sunlight and keep away from children. External use only, do not ingest. Do not ingest this kids, do not ingest this. <laughs> yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this video because I'm just so stoked to try this. Let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin the way I usually would with a regular sponge. I don't know why this that was so weird for me to say. I'm gonna fly through all these products because this video isn't all about it. So give me a minute. So I primed how I normally would and now it's just <laughs> now we just test this out. Let's get to it. I'm gonna take some I'm tan at the moment, as you can't already tell from my poorly tanned hands. So it says that you're supposed to use half of what you normally use. I think that seems okay. <laughs> oh my God, it's already getting so dirty because of my fingers. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm scared. I have my mirror right here. Whoa. Oh my God. What? I feel like it's just spreading it on my face and it's not really sinking in. This is so weird. Ooh, I'm not liking how that looks. Take a small amount of cream liquid and go in circular motions or back and forth to spread until it stops spreading. <laughs> okay. I don't know when to stop. And then when we tap in. I feel like it's very hard to blend on my nose. I feel like my nose needs like a sponge to kind of just sink the product in. I mean, it's, it's setting, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> the sponge looks like, oh my God. <laughs> um, okay, in all honesty, it doesn't look as bad as when you first put it on. It's really good under my eyes. And I feel like my foundation feels as it would with the blender. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead and finish the rest of my face um, with the foundation. Then we're gonna come I can't speak English. Thank you so much. So I took less on this side because I want to see if you really do only need a little bit more and still give you like really good coverage. This side gave me really good coverage. Uh, it looks very full um, compared to this. I'm, I'm doing this all over the place. The foundation that I'm using is Too Faced Born This Way foundation. That is one of my all-time favorites. It works amazing for my skin type. Um, sir? 
I love that foundation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but as you can see, it took that little bit and made it like this. I feel like this is getting easier the more I do it. Very hard to get in the nose hole. Okay, so my face is done. This is one layer. This side I use a lot less, as you saw, and then this side I use a lot more, like what I usually would. To be honest, it does feel basic. It feels regular, like it does with a beauty blender. Um, it did a really good job. Like I'm actually surprised when I first started blending it in, especially right over here. Um, it looked like a mess. It looked like I just made the biggest mistake of my life. But as I was doing as the directions on the packet um, say to do, it got better and it got easier and it started to look a lot better. Um, so I have this little kind of reaction right here that it looks almost like a dry patch even though it's not. And the foundation is kind of settling into it though as if it was a dry patch. I feel like it would do that with a beauty blender. I'm not sure, haven't really tried that. That came up this morning. It does help you save product, I feel like, because I used a lot less here and it spread it out like insane. If I was using a beauty blender, I know for sure that I would have to go in with like another little layer of that amount um, just because it was so little for me. We're gonna go ahead and try it out with concealer. This is the nerve wracking part. I'm scared but we're gonna do it anyways. So concealer that we're using today is the Shape Tapies. I'm using light medium and light sand. This is what I've been using, um, especially with my tan. These concealers are just great. I'm so scared. So I guess we're gonna use less than what we usually would. I'm taking light sand as a highlight and because we're, we don't know how this is gonna act, just doing one dot and a couple right there. Hold the sides and fold to create a point for detail applications. Oh my god. This might go really wrong. I feel like it's gonna go really wrong. I'm gonna start with the chin just because I feel like it's an open area. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This bunch looks so weird. Kind of looks. Bleh. Stop being scared. So it's like, it's doing okay. Like it's not doing a horrible job, I feel. I'm not gonna take this on my eyelid just because I wouldn't do that um, even with a regular blender. I am doing this as I would regularly. Like, regularly. But I feel like this is performing really well. It is taking a little bit longer than usual. That is it, I finished my face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. This is what it looks like before setting anything with powder. I think it looks rather good for it being a sponge and for the way it went on initially um, before blending. Um, my under eyes look good, they look, I feel like my face looks exactly like it would with a beauty blender. So I don't know, right now it's like working very normal for me. My skin feels like it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's not so sticky. So I just finished doing my makeup, add a little contour, a little highlight, you know how it is. And I do have to say, I really do like the way it came out. Um, in the beginning of me applying it, when initially when I was first, you know, blending it in, it looked like I had made a mistake. It looked like, oh, what am I doing with my life? But as I did exactly what the instructions told me to do, which was slide it until it stopped spreading and then tap it in, it got a lot easier and it started to look a lot better. So um, I guess that's exactly how you're supposed to use it. The directions work for once in my life. And you know, it worked really well. The sizing of it was really awesome underneath my eyes. I did have a little more trouble around my nose. I felt like I spent more time than I should have in my nose area. So, I mean that, I felt like it looked exactly how it would with a beauty blender. This side I went in with a little bit more product than this side, and this side came out practically 
practically the same as this one. So I do believe that it does save you product just because it doesn't sink into the sponge. It took a little longer to blend, which I feel was the downside of this overall. Just because with a beauty blender, I'm just a lot more quicker. Maybe I'm used to it. Maybe it's a habit that we developed that we got so good at it that we finished super quick. It's just really effortless with a beauty blender. And then with this one, I found myself, you know, in areas taking my time and, you know, just trying to get it right. I'm gonna go wash it now and I'll be back. I wanna see how it cleans off. So I washed it and surprisingly, it was amazing. It washed off super easy. I just used regular dish soap, dish soap, dish soap, dish, dish soap. <laughs> shoe shards <laughs> and um it it's clean now so i love i love that fact because i so i'm so i'm so lazy at cleaning my beauty blender like i need to get better i know sorry but um i'm just i just I ain't got time for that. So I love the fact that this just wiped off super easy and I feel like it's a lot more hygienic and I'm into that, you know? I'm into that. Despite me just telling you that I barely wash my beauty blender. I mean, I wash it, just not as frequent as I should. Oh my god. Okay, moving on. My final verdict, I actually really do like this. And I'm excited to use it a little bit more and get a little more familiarized with it and get better at it. I feel like the more I use it, the faster I'll do my face. <laughs> the faster my blending process will go, just as with the beauty blender. I'm sure people who have used brushes all their lives, in it they transition to a beauty blender. They're kind of like weird and like slow and then they eventually get better. So like with anything in life, you have to do something almost practically every day to get good at it. So I'm excited to keep on using this. My first impression was wow. It left my face basically like a beauty blender and now I don't have to go buy a beauty blender. Beauty Blender, how many times am I gonna say that in this video? I really like it, I don't think it accentuated any pores. I don't think that it settled into any like creases. I mean, for me, in my opinion, I think it worked really, really well. And I, I like it. So I don't think it was a complete waste of my $14 that I spent on this. Um, I do recommend that you guys try it and you guys, you know, try something different. It's cool. It's cool. I can use this as like an insert, you know what I mean? Like a gel insert from my foot, you know? <laughs> it worked for me and that's insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something from it. I hope you go and buy it and try it out. This is not a sponsored video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Goodbye.